Jason. We're gonna call Jason. The other GMG. <laughs> We're gonna call Jason Baker. Do you think he'll answer? We'll see. Check it out. Look what we got today. What is this? In the mail. New GMG Trek 2.0. Can't need to wait. Sharpen that knife. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yes, he can't wait. I'm gonna ha! step back. I'm stepping back. Ha! Here he goes. So this is a Trek unboxing. We're gonna see what it looks like inside the box. We're gonna check out the packaging right on top. What do you have? Ooh, this is an envelope. Check that envelope out. Ooh. That's nice looking. It is. What do you have in there? A love letter yes, from GMG. App Store, Google Play. Little link there, your owner's manual. Awesome, so yeah. I guess you can scan that and get some more information. Absolutely. It all starts here. It's got the assembly manual, starter box, and your controller. And more scan codes. This, this is nice. This so is very organized. In the past, you had the instruction manual was actually inside of the smoker. You'd have to take everything out to get to it. They've changed a lot of that, and the packaging just from opening the box is, uh, is set up pretty good. So I see over here, this says starter box. It says here you will find your heat shield, adjustment rod, power cord, Wi-Fi antenna, meat probes, and a tool wrench. A that's tool wrench? A tool wrench. All right. That's your new nickname. So that's interesting. The Trek now comes with two probes. Ooh. They didn't, they didn't give out two before. I don't think they did before. Cool. So you get an extra. There's your tool wrench, heat shield adjustment. Wi-Fi antenna, and look at that, it's 115 volt power cord. Let me see the uh, the cord itself. Is it like really thin or is it no, a it thicker look like style it. cord? Looks like a thicker style cord. Yeah, that's, that's a good outdoor cord, not that thin stuff. Should we yeah, see how actually, long it is? Sure. People are gonna ask that question. You wanna see how long it is? Yes. Mm-hmm. I wanna see how long it is, Ron. It's important, right? Okay, yeah. you take Size that matters, out. Size matters, right? That's a, that's probably why it's so thick. Yeah. Because it's got great distance on it. Yeah, it does. So you can get a lot About further away from your outlet than before. Yeah. Here. Thank you. Right. It's wrapped in plastic. Protect it. Ooh, look at that paint. That paint looks nice. Clean. Everything looks protected really well in here, too. Yeah, it does. They actually put tape around where the lid goes. Uh-huh. So it doesn't scratch in shipping. Take the box down. Okay. Turn. Yes, sir. What do you want to do? Turn. Turn yourself around. All right, that's what it's all about. Oh yeah. Check that out. Oh, it's cute. It's a widow baby. <laughs> Look at the widow baby. Yeah, but you know what I noticed? What? It's got some weight to it. It really does. Yeah, so you see this tape on here? When these were shipped before, this lid would rub on here and yep. it would rub the paint off. So this Pain tape prevents, to detail. This tape prevents that from happening. It's uh, like shipping these things, it, it's important to protect them because if you chip the paint, now you, you know it's damaged. So keep, right. it, keep it clean. And, and usually the way we get our shipments, uh, they come on pallets. So this was actually shipped FedEx ground to us from California. So it's pretty impressive that, you know, we don't, I, don't, I don't see any damage. I think these weigh, what, 70 pounds? Well, I'll tell you what, the tape came off pretty easy and it didn't leave any adhesive on there, so that's good. What does that say? I love that sticker. Quality control pass. Quality control, okay? Love it. Here, that's Christmas present. Open I, it up. I haven't seen you in a while, so Thank it's a little you, Ron. late. Ron got me a Christmas present. All right, you take that, and I'll open up that one. What is this, Pollyanna? It Secret is. Santa? It is. You didn't like what I got you? No. I know what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so here's your uh, your chimney stack. Yeah, check that out. And what is on there? They do come with the chimney cover. So the way this looks like it goes, too, it looks like it inserts from the inside of the grill. And it's got a really nice thick felt gasket in here. It's not like I that. I see that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, the other one was uh, like a fiber gasket, and this is a felt gasket. So a little contour to the edges because that is kind of curved. You see how it, right. it, it like contours around. And has some uh, 
soot gets in there, it should seal nice and tight. The bucket, the tiny little bucket, but I love how this thing is powder coated black or painted black. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Out, I like it. Oh, the drip tray is nice and thick, stainless steel. So this is really thick, heavy duty stainless steel. So this is your firebox. Hey, That's way feel the different. weight on Look at this the thing. difference in that thing though. This feels like, like heavy duty. You feel that? I mean, for such a small. Yeah, it does. Item. The gauge steel. The gauge steel yeah, here is the definitely gauge thicker. The gauge steel feels heavier. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but like the, the thickness of that. But man, look at the way this has changed though. This is really mm -hmm. different. The quality of the build looks a lot better and the materials. You take a look inside here, you'll see the igniter and the Venturi box and everything looks really good inside. Here's our handle for the outside. Nice. And uh, what's this uh, for the handle? I'm not sure what that is. What is that, Donald? Oh, there's nowhere for the handle to screw in, so that would be Gotcha. Uh, on so the yeah. on the inside. Yeah, the I backing guess. plate. Yeah, the, the backing plate for the handle. No, but those threads are huge. There's no threads for it to screw into on here. Yeah, but no, they screw into the handle. This is uh, is this for the rack system? I don't know. Why don't you look at the directions? All right, you put the handle on, Ron, and I'll go to the directions. Why don't you look at the directions, Don? You're a typical man. You think you know everything, and then you get you know, it together. I think they kept See, all the bolt sizes. If your same. wife was here, she'd be like, Don, it's on page blah, blah, and it says it's for this. Really, Ron? We're not doing this right now. We're not. One size fits all. This way you can measure. Check that out. Show that to the camera. Here, camera. You two people, check this out. It looks like black chrome almost. Man, look at this, look at this manual. This is not a normal manual. I mean. It's nice, he's got some advertisements colored, in there. I mean, the thing's colored and. It's well put together. Yeah, really well. With right. pictures, because men, we like pictures. We don't read, we just look at the pictures. So Don, let's look at the picture for what this item is for. Yes, Ron, that's what we're doing. Where's the picture? Oh, uh, that's what we're doing. It was with the handle, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're wrong. They line up perfect. The holes line up perfect. Could this be some sort of a heat heat deflector? You know a, what? You know who a we grease? Try, you know what we should try to call? Do you think Jason Baker's up right now? Yo, yeah. Let's call Jason. Could it be a grease deflector? We're gonna call Jason. Jason, we're gonna call Jason, the other <laughs> GMJ. We're gonna call Jason Baker. Yes, we're gonna call Jason. Phone Baker. a friend. Let's phone we're a friend, phone Jason friends. Baker. Do you think he'll answer? We'll see. Call has been forwarded to oh. oh, he sent you the voicemail. <laughs> oh man. Let's just try it one more time. This is gonna be the longest video ever for. That's okay. A grease deflector. He's like, this dude is so annoying. I know. It's perfect. Been oh. to All right, well, let's get the chimney on. Good, let's get the chimney on. All right. So, obviously, you gotta take this out, and this is gonna feed from, feed from the inside of the smoker. The trick is, I think you gotta take this, yeah, this deflector's gotta come off. This has gotta come off first. You know what can come off? That's gotta come off first. Then this goes through. Like so. Like so. Now we just gotta line up the holes. Yes. Yes. Want me to hold it for you? I don't want you to hold that for me. Want me to hold it for you? Need help? Where's the screw at, Ron? Uh, I set it in front. Oh, gotcha. All right, you should be lined up. I can multitask. <laughs> so before you put the chimney stack through, you have to take this uh, chimney cover off and just keep in mind your orientation. You've got a small washer, a larger one, and then there's a lock washer that goes behind the screw. I thought Ron would be done by now. Right. I did it in half the time it took for you to figure out the orientation of the chimney. <laughs> there you go. Check that 
Wow. Yeah. It's looking good. All right, so the heat shield, obviously the, the nut that's on there is gonna face this side over here where the hole is for the adjustment rod. We set this down in here on the track. The adjustment rod in and thread that in. Guys, what do you think? Rob's doing a great job, isn't he? Doing a good job. <laughs> and there we go. So there's uh, notches on here that show you where your measurement is for the firebox. So once you get this thing dialed in, uh, if you're gonna travel with this and you take this off, you can basically know where you want your firebox to be and you can go ahead and adjust it to the notch on here. I like how the marks are much deeper than the old ones too. Yeah, they are. Now the drip tray, the half moon shape is gonna go towards the temp sensor side. Now why is that, Ron? So heat can get up and get to the temperature sensor. You don't wanna cover that. It goes in there just like that. What do you have next, Don? The handle. How the grates feel? Pretty good. Yeah. They feel good. They don't wobble or anything in your hand. All right. Looks good. What is that, Don? So my guess, grease likes to run down here, right? It does. And then it runs down the front here. So what I'm thinking is this actually deflects the grease back into the smoker so that it doesn't come out here. Oh, uh, that's, just, down the lid. that's just my guess. But where else would it go? No, it's a wall bracket. You can hang it. No. no, there's nowhere to mount them. Mm. So we have a mystery here, and it's this piece. What do you guys think it's for? Don't cheat. Don't cheat. I want to know what you think it's for down in the comments. Do you think I'm right? Is it to deflect the grease that runs down the lid back into the smoker to keep it away from running down here? The gaskets uh, help prevent the handle from getting real hot. It's thermal separation. Yeah, the gaskets are in the shape of the oval of the handle. I don't know. I mean, I think it's a good idea to have it like this. Right, but how are you gonna but secure it's, it? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> so my phone, a friend, my phone, a friend just, Jason, you're on camera. Uh, okay. And, and we are <laughs> unboxing a a uh, Trek, Trek 2.0. Okay, nice. And are you using the built app? <laughs> <laughs> We're men. We put things together without instructions. No, 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 no. You need the built app. <laughs> that be the key, because yeah, that's the key. There you have it. There's the built app. From Jason Baker himself. Use the built app. <laughs> no, built Jason. App. What's up? Um, there is a piece in here that's got big threads in it and a bar. Is this some kind of grease deflection? That goes on the, between the, the back of the, uh, if it's the piece I think you're thinking of, it, if you want to take a picture of it, but it's probably a silver piece, yes. right? Yep. 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 It uh, came it with the goes, handle. Yeah, it goes on the other side of the handle, so it goes on the inside of the grill okay. uh, lid, on the inside of the grill lid, and uh, again, that built app will show that step through video. <laughs> <laughs> through video. <laughs> I love it. And you can, like, pause it. You can be like, oh, shoot, pause. I need to watch this for a sec. Oh, I can push play again. Oh, I get this. I'll skip that. Jason, they it's want to see Dr. S look, the people want to see Dr. Smoke build this, and we're embarrassing ourselves. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Smoke should have watched that app first. <laughs> should have watched that video. Uh, download it on your phone. Perfect. And then you just scan it. All right. Yep. Awesome. Beautiful. Whatever, whatever, whatever model you purchased, yeah, it's it's. We've got them for Trek Legend Peak. Awesome, buddy. All right, guys, enjoy. You're all making right. us obsolete with all this help and instruction now. <laughs> Hey, you guys are putting uh, content out there that helps everybody. Yes, we are. <laughs> and comedy. Enjoy, gentlemen. All right, Jason. <laughs> right. There's no comedy in that built app, is there? I <laughs> know <laughs> there's not. That's you should right. have had Ron and you're I in the built it. app. You're bringing it. <laughs> we are bringing it. <laughs> Chappelle, Robin, nobody. You guys got it. <laughs> nice job, guys. Awesome. All right, Thank buddy. you. Thanks, Jason. All right. Be well. We can always depend on GMG. That's right. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, guys. Bye. Appreciate you. All right. Bye-bye. 
So who was right? Not you. Yeah. Not you. Nacho? Not you. Not me? All right. Goes so, on the inside. I mean, that's why the holes are. So line it either up. goes like this, like this, like this. Right. So why don't we use the Derek, built app? Derek is pulling up the built app right now. It's, what's uh what's Joe Rogan's assistant? Jamie. 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 <laughs> Look this up for me on the built app. Rotate. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh, technology, man. Look, it shows you a bolt washer. Yeah, so it shows you the... So there it is. Let me see this. Wow, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Unboxing. Wow. Don, I might as well just go home. <laughs> what do you guys need us for? Because people still like to watch us run. Wow. Check that out. Man. AI taking over. Nope. There it is. Nope. There it is. It's so the a flat, part, it shows a flat piece. So the flat piece. And the bolts go up through it. It curves out, just like I was saying. Oh, so the curve out is right there. Right. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, look. Yeah. Yeah, so so it goes in. It, Ron was wrong. Uh, and that ain't, this part is up towards the top, so it's just like this. Exactly. Yep. There it is. The That's built cool. app, ladies and gentlemen. The built app. Okay, right. I will hold this in place. And then, no the next then. one. Yep. Cool how they made the gaskets the oval shape. I know. All it right. Perfect. Very nice. It's funny, he knew, exactly, he knew exactly what we were talking about when yeah. we were called. Well, it's a new piece that I've never seen it on any of the other smokers, so it's something new. Get your gasket set. Gasket set and straight. Yeah. Tighten it up. I do like how they're using all the same size bolts, too. That's nice. Because, like, before you had to, have the, you had to mm -hmm. have the 10 and the 12 millimeter. Now everything here just looks like it's a 10 millimeter. All right, there it is. This lid fits really nice, too. It does. No adjustment needed. All right, Don, what's left? What's left? I think we should just do a quick walk around of it, right? Yeah, do a um, quick walk around. Yeah. Check this thing out. Yeah, again, you've got your, your port here on the left for your thermal probe. So starting with the control panel, uh, it is a black color. You've got your port for the temperature probe. Again, they give you two now. Next, we'll move over to the, the little port holder. That's also black. Very nice. Top of the lid is dome shaped, yep. so water can roll right off of that. Yep. We're going to open it up, and then you've got the inside. The uh, hand guard's actually built into it now, which is nice. Go ahead and open up that lid, Ron. Voila. Voila. Inside, you got your thermal probe to the left. Moving on to the right, you've got your heat shield. You can move left to right. You can actually feel the notches as you move it, too. So. Oh, yeah? So it's really easy to line it up. Cool. Yep. You got your bucket that hangs off the side. You got a nice handle here for lifting it up. Toward the back of the unit. Uh, before, the Trek used to have the power cord that came off the back. Right. Now, now obviously, it's on the bottom. Yep, plugs in the bottom. Which, with it plugging over. in the bottom, also keeps it away from the weather. Exactly. So if this is outside and it rains, the power's not coming through the back now. It's underneath, so it's not going to get as wet. It looks great, doesn't it? It really does look great. It looks great, Don. Doesn't it look great, Don? Looks great. It looks great. <laughs> You're a jerk. You fell for it. This thing is way heavy. It's, it's really heavy. Don, we forgot to hit record. No, we didn't. Yeah. No, we didn't. We forgot to hit the record button. No, we didn't. Damn it. I'm curious, along with probably a lot of other people, is how they're doing this power supply. Um, because, you know, you've got a 120 volt option plus your 12 volt option. So we want to see how that's wired. I just want to Let's see. Check it out. Let's open it up and check it out. Go ahead, MacGyver. Taking apart a brand new smoker. Why not? So people used to mod these to do this kind of stuff. Right. 
You no longer have to mod them. Check it out. Oh, wow. That's it right there. Yep. So, basically, it's creative. Basically, your power supply is just built right in. Slides to the right in. Yep. Easy replacement, too, if you have yeah. to replace anything. Really easy. It comes out. The power port here, these just come right off. Oh, they're bullet probes. They're bullet. That bullet one's a connectors. bullet. And yeah, then there's a this space. is a ground. Okay, so basically what it is, is we have your 12 volt side that's spliced in together here. So obviously if you're just using 12 volt, you don't have to use your power conversion. So really easy replacement, plug and play, definitely strong. So it's really cool to see yeah, the inside. Yeah, it slides right in there. It's a great design. Yep. It's sleek, it keeps it out of the way. If you uh, go camping or something, you're not gonna forget that. Exactly. You know, imagine getting all the way before. out there. Yeah, I can imagine. So all you need now is your power cord. And say you forget your power cord, that's a pretty standard power cord that this thing has. Yeah, that's like any computer. Put it back together, Don. Put it back together. And it looks like everything else, so your fan is right here, your auger motor, everything is right easily accessible from the bottom. You can take these screws out right up top here and this cover comes off and everything is right in there to get to it. I like that it's protected too, to keep animals out of there. The bottom grate on this is way different than the old ones. Yeah, the old ones had almost like a grill grate. Yeah, they did. This, this looks really nice. It's laser cut. Uh-huh. Fits nice. Lasers, people. Laser. Laser beams. The bottom of these legs actually have little uh, plastic pads. Ready? Just like that. So the last thing to do, Ronnie, is plug it in. Plug it, yeah. Plug it in. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it probably could reach there. That's code. Check it out. So there it is. Guys, I hope you enjoyed yet another awesome unboxing, build video, showing you the new power supplies. We're awesome. We, we hope that you're as excited as we are for the new Trek Prime 2.0 coming to a home near you. That's Come right. see Dr. Smoke. We're gonna have these things really soon. This is an early release for us. It is. Don used some connections to get this thing. Yes, I did. To show you guys. And uh, we're really excited about the build quality and especially the paint looks great on these things. Um, the next thing is let's cook on them. That's right. That's what we're doing next. Maybe Aubrey will do another burning video with this yeah. little guy. Let's burn it in. Burn her in. Tell us in the comments what you think. If you think it's better than the other one, do you think it's the same thing? Uh, you can't feel the weight of the heat deflector and the drip tray. We can feel that. It, it definitely feels heavier and the quality feels a lot nicer. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell when we add new videos. Ding we, dong. Ding, ding dong. Thanks for watching.